it's Casual Savage here and in this video I'm showing you how to create fake camera movements in Vegas Pro 15. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15, everything on the left here is the video you saw at the start and I'm basically going to replicate it for you now. So of course the first one is coming from the left to the right or it can be coming from the right to the left, pretty simple, all with the pan and crop. So select this button. Now from here, zoom into your video. Now you need to make sure your video is at least HD for this because of course you know on the videos that aren't HD when you zoom in, the image quality is terrible. So make sure you have size about sensor checked and also lock aspect ratio. From there also have sync cursor checked and make sure you're on the very first frame on position. Simply just zoom in to however much you want to. So I'll just pick this part here. Now. We want it, of course, coming from left to right. So I'm going to press this button here. So this means I can now only move it left or right. It just helps me be more accurate. So I'm going to put this onto the left. I'm then going to come across to the end. Now, this is what I done. Uh, I went across to the end, so it finished off up here. But of course, what you can do is just maybe choose three seconds and then we can move it across to the right side. And you can use the arrows on your keyboard to position it as well. There we go. And then what I also recommend doing is highlighting these keyframes here and right clicking them and selecting smooth. So from there, once it's at three seconds within this video, it's going to just pause at the right side. So if I play this through, you can see it's going to stop there for the next two seconds. Pretty simple. Um, Again, you can get creative, you can choose, maybe you can make it go to the center, stop, and then make it go to the right, stop, and that's just by using keyframes. It's pretty straightforward to do that. The next one is basically coming in from the top of the screen and zooming out. Again, a very simple one. All of these are simple. Uh, this time have size about center unchecked. Make sure sync cursor is still checked, make sure you're still on position, and make sure you're still on the first keyframe. Simply drag from the bottom and zoom into something above. Um, I just went straight above into this building here. And again, uh, when I showed you in the example, I went right to the end of the frame. But I'll go to three seconds since you've already seen what it's like um, the other way. So three seconds here. And then from here, all I'm going to do is select right click and restore. So again, I recommend highlighting the keyframes, right clicking and selecting smooth. X out of it and let's play this through. You can see already it's starting coming up there. Playing it through, it's going to zoom out nice and smoothly, just like that. Now we go on to the opposite to what I've just shown you. So when it starts from the bottom, but then expands out. So again, scale about center not checked, lock aspect ratio needs to be checked, sync cursor on, position right at the very start, and simply drag from the top to the bottom. Now from there, choose how long you want this to take. I'm going to go to three seconds again, and I'm going to right click and restore. I'm then going to highlight my frames and I'm going to right click and select smooth. So I'm going to X out of this and let's play it through. So you can see that's how that one looks pretty nice. Now this next one is basically in from the center and expanding out. So again, pen and crop, of course. This time I do recommend having size about center highlighted and just simply zoom in. Now from there, I'm gonna go to three seconds again. I'm gonna select right click, restore. I'm then gonna highlight the frames, right click and smooth. So this time, this is how this one looks. Just like that. And then the final one. Now this one, I've done something a bit different in the example, is actually more of a rotation and a zoom out. Now you can also do a rotation and a zoom in. So I'll show you that now. So pan and crop again. And what we're gonna be doing, or what I'm gonna be doing, is zooming into the sun. Now the focus isn't on the sun, but I'm just gonna do that as the starting point anyway. And I'm going to move this into the center of the screen. So once I'm at the center of the sun, I'm then going to rotate it. So coming out to this circle here, see this rotation icon and just rotate it to however you want to. So I'm gonna have it like that. I'm then gonna come across three seconds 
and I'm going to right click and restore and again I'm going to highlight my frames and make sure they're set to smooth. Now there's a difference, we're not actually done yet. What we then need to do is scrub across this timeline because as this pan and crop is coming out back to the original size we're going to end up seeing some black bars. So you'll see if I come across right there you can see a black bar is starting to show so what we do go back a few frames before that black bar even appears right here and simply just zoom in again like that only a little bit so these corners do not touch the edges and we're just going to keep going like this and you just have to be patient with this one but once it is done it does look really nice Okay, and there we go. We're going to highlight all the frames again, right click and make sure they're set to smooth. We can X out of it and this is what we've just done. Just like that. So it's like a camera was turned on this side, it was zoomed in and as the camera is tilting it's also zooming out. Now you can also do this the other way where it actually zooms in, but to do that you'd do the exact opposite. So you'd start off with... Um, the first keyframe up here, so it's normal, then you would slowly zoom it in. So I'll actually do that for you very quickly, I'm going to swap all the keyframes around and I'll be back to you when it's done. Okay, so I've swapped the keyframes around and now I'll play this through, you can see the video is going to start off with the normal view and this time it's going to zoom in and tilt just like that. Of course there's a lot more variations you can create using this but these are the basic ones I've shown you and of course probably the most common ones people will use.